hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix the rpc server is unavailable in windows 11 10 8 and 7 let's fix it guys method one you just need to go to search menu and type run click on open it in run window you just need to type services.msc click on ok in services you just need to find a remote procedure call rpc service double click on it startup type set to automatic and if the service status is stopped then you just need to start it and select apply and ok for search changes now you need to find dcom server process launcher dcom server process launcher double click on it Startup type set to automatic and if the service status is stopped then you just need to start it and select apply and ok for save changes. Now you need to find RPC endpoint service RPC endpoint mapper service double click on it. Startup type set to automatic and if the service status is stopped then you just need to start it and then select apply and ok for save changes. Now you just need to close stuff here and check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the method 2 guys. Method 2, you just need to go to search window and type control panel. Click on open it. Select a network and internet. Select network and sharing center. On left side, select change advanced sharing setting. Under current profile you just need to turn on file and printer sharing and after that just to close stuff here and check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the method 3 guys method 3 you just need to go to search menu and type allow an app through windows firewall click on open it in here you just need to find remote assistance Select change settings and now find remote assistance. Check park public and private both boxes in here and select OK. And now you can check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the method 4 guys. Method 4 go to search menu and type registry editor, click on open it, select yes. Now you just need to check my video description for this registry path used in my video. Just to copy and paste it in the registry address bar and press enter. Make sure you selected RPCSS. On right side you just need to double click on the start. And make sure the value is set to and click on OK. And now you just need to close stuff here and go ahead and restart the PC. After restarting your PC, you can check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the fifth method, guys. Fifth method, you just need to go to search menu and type CMD. Right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator and select yes. Now you just need to check my video description for this command used in my video. Just to copy and paste it. Press enter. We just need to wait for this command to get 100% done. After getting 100% complete, you just need to close stuff here and go ahead and restart your PC. After restarting your PC, you can check if the problem solved or not. I hope one of these methods fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to leave a like, guys. You can also subscribe me and support me, guys. Thank you.